dear. Welcome to the Proper Party Planners Ambassador Club. With a little Proper Party Planner polish, you can help others throw a proper party. My name is Miss Heather, and I'm going to teach you how to teach others how to have a proper party. Relax. There's no grading involved. The purpose of a party is to have fun, but a proper party takes planning and skill. Let's talk about the different kinds of parties there are. I'll start us off. Game party. And holiday. Mm hmm. Very good. So we have carnival, game, birthday, and holiday. You need to advise your clients about the steps they need to take before hosting a party. They need to make be our guest lists and send out invitations, either written or through the phone, like this. Hello, Mary? Yes. Hello, Mary. It's Heather. Hello, Mary. I wanted to know if you would like to come to a party this Saturday. Yes, that would be delightful. Great, Mary. Is there any accommodations I can make for you? Would you like me to lasso the moon for you, Mary? Yes, I'm a character, Heather. Oh, okay. Well, I hope I'll see you on Saturday. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mary. Make sure you pay special attention to your guests and make them feel welcome. Light refreshments should also be served at a proper party. Soda pop is up to date and smart. Let me pour you some. You can keep it on the desk right next to you if you like. Let's talk about some soda pop choices that will leave your guests feeling particularly festive 
without feeling crunk. Hi, Swoopy. Coca-Cola and Canada Dry Ginger Ale. Can you think of any others? I can. What about? Seven Up. Yeah. Richardson's root beer. They're all good options for throwing a proper party. When guests arrive, it's the host's duty to get guests acquainted and into the spirit of the party with well-chosen and well-planned mixer games. I'm going to show you some that you can suggest to others for a proper party. sing Jimmy Crack Corn around a piano, and that's always a favorite. You could. Charades. And of course, you can't go wrong with a delightful round.
cards against humanity. Let's go over them together one last time. Jimmy Crack Corn and I Don't Care Around a Piano. Monopoly. Parcheesi. Scrabble. Risk. Charade. My favorite. Cards Against Humanity. Mm hmm. Very good. A little snack is always pleasant. Hosts can offer themed food, like a weenie roast, or their guests can enjoy a little variety. You can offer Pastry snails. Silver dollar hamburgers. Bacon wrap around tidbits. Shrimp puffs. Doubled eggs. Sardine surprise. Feel free to write these down if you need to. Fruit cups. Pastry snails. Silver dollar hamburgers. Bacon wrap around tidbits. Shrimp puffs. Deviled eggs. Sardine surprise. And ham rolls.
guests should go home shortly after refreshments are served. Guests should arrive on time and be ready for fun, but leave on time and courteously too. Now, let's talk about the proper way to present oneself. Let me see your hand. I'll teach you so you can teach others. Your nails should have the dirt cleaned out from under them and be neatly cut. Also have your clothes pressed and mended. Please stay still. I'm just going to walk around you. Just checking. What if you have a client who wants to be glamorous? You'll need a few things. Poise. What about your appearance? Well, to make a perfect soup, you need just the right amount of seasoning. A daily bath with soap and water. Clean teeth. Let me see you smile. Make sure you brush them every night. Glossy hair can only be achieved with shampoo. Hint. Don't forget. Sleep. Don't stay awake listening to swing records. You need eight hours. Pays big dividends. If a client asks you about makeup, you can teach them how to apply the right amount. If they are curious about rouge, you can teach them the tri dot system. Take your rouge brush and apply a little dot right under the pupil. One on the cheekbone, and one no lower than the tip of your nose. Then, you blend, until you can barely see the rouge yourself. Do this on each side. Nothing dates you. 
like too much rouge. Let me show you. There's no makeup on this. Right under the pupil, the cheekbone, no lower than the tip of your nose. And just blend like that. Other side. You tell me, where does it go? Under the pupil. Cheekbone. No lower than the tip of your nose and then blend. Blend it well. Lipstick is your exclamation point. Two strokes across the top lip. One. Two. And one long stroke across the bottom. Then, you drag your lipstick up and down on the lip to go with the grain of the lip. Press together. You can use a powder puff to apply powder to keep your face from being shiny. Let me show you how. You can also use a tissue to remove excess powder from your face. Take your tissue. Lightly motion in circles across the skin, taking off any excess powder so that you don't look cakey. If done properly, you can reward your client with praise and say something like, My, you look very nice. Or, look at you. Turn down for what? We're almost finished. But first we're going to play a little game. I'm going to show you some flashcards that have party themes on them. I want you to tell me if the party theme is a good idea or an idea that needs just a little more tender, loving care. Alright? Mobsters and lobsters. Is this a good idea? What about a Catalina wine mixer? Is this a good idea? Or does this need a little TLC? What about a dinosaur laser party? Now, these kind of parties can also have sharks in space. Is this a good idea? How about a formal apology party. This kind of party entails people dressing up in tuxedos and saying I'm sorry all night. Is this a good kind of party? Yeah. 
How about? It's not your problem party. And this is a party that has nothing but nachos. And it's a problem. Is that a good idea for a party? What about an elevator party? This is when people dress up like Darth Vader and have a party in an elevator. This, the elevator party. Is this a good idea for a party? How about barbarians and librarians? Is that a good idea for a party? What about the ugly sweater Christmas party? I've been to a few of these. Is that a good idea for a party? Hmm. What about the formal tops and pajama bottom party? In some cultures. This is also known as the ASMR disporting. Is this a good idea for a party? How about the eye-gazing party? This is when all the guests come and stare at each other in the eyes all night. Is this a good idea for a party? How about the, can't we all just get oolong party? This kind of party is a tea party. Is this a good kind of party? What about a gentle whispering party? Parties like these require that guests come in. Gently in each other's ears. Is this a good kind of party? What about a Leif Erikson Day party? Is that one good? And lastly, what about what you wanted to be when you were five party? People come dressed up as what they wanted to be. When they were five. Is that a good kind of party? Well, well, you did a swell job. I think that makes you a proper party planner ambassador. Let me give you this pin. Don't want to poke you. So, let's get a party going. Now it's time to party, and we'll party hard. Congratulations. And when you touch it, electricity follows your finger. You can use more than one finger, but if you hold your fingers there too long, it starts to get warm. Whoa! Did you see that? That looked really cool. Can you hear it? I think it's very beautiful. Hold it close for you.